It is with great joy that Mina and I bring greetings from the board and members of Lapis Lazuli Ministries to you this Christmas season. It is our privilege to join you in the most celebrated season in the universe. This annual festival that commemorates the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ happened over 2,000 years ago in a manger in a dark little sleepy town called Bethlehem. On that Christmas morning, love came down to stay. At a time when the world seems to be going through such tumultuous times, with the war in Europe between Russia and Ukraine, skirmishes in the Middle East and on the African continent, the undercurrent divisive fallouts from the last elections in the USA, the collapse of global economies and businesses, diseases such as COVID and challenges with climate change, just to mention a few. How desperate we are for the outpouring of love from our Heavenly Father. That first Christmas was also against a backdrop of darkness and hopelessness felt by the Jews, oppressed by their occupiers in that day, the Romans. It was also amidst wars, sickness, strife and sin. When there was the interruption by the angels from heaven to announce to the shepherds the Messiah's birth. They came to announce that the everlasting light, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, had come into the world. This gift of the Godhead, Jesus, so quietly given, was veiled in flesh. Hail the incarnate deity. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling amongst us. John, the beloved disciple, wrote, We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth, as written in John chapter 1, verse 14. Is this not the wonder of creation? That's God's greatest desire to come and dwell with man. To make man his habitation had finally come to pass. It had been accomplished in his own way. Emmanuel, God with us. Who would have imagined that he would lay his glory by? He would come to save man from sin and the devil. He came with healing in his wings to reconcile us back to the Father's heart so that we could also exude his love and his power. He was born to raise the sons that creation has been waiting for, that is you and I. He was born so that we would never have to be alone. He was born that man would no longer have to die. This gift from God was propelled by love in his heart. As we see in 1st John chapter 4 verse 7 love is at the heart of Christmas the reason why we celebrate the Christmas season is because love came down in the person of Jesus Christ it is the reason for all our gatherings and gifts given however you may ask what exactly is love because the world has its own idea of what love should look like However, we will be wise to go to the source of all love. Love is the greatest gift in the world. 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 31 tells us that love should be number one on our spiritual priority list. A good place to expatiate on love in the Bible is 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 7. We read that love suffers long and is kind. Love doesn't envy. Love doesn't parade itself. It's not puffed up. 
does not seek its own. Love is not provoked, is thinks no evil, and doesn't rejoice in iniquity. But love rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things. Love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love as described by the source of all love can be expressed in our relationship with him and with one another. Jesus is the one who is perfect love. So it is up to us to take him as our model to see love expressed. This love is divine. It is extravagant, unconditional and overwhelming. We are called to love God with all our heart, soul, strength and mind and to love each other as we love ourselves. We are called to give our love in response to his lavish love of us, just as it is in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. Let us not forget what A.W. Tozer wrote, God is love and God is sovereign. His love disposes him to desire our everlasting welfare, and his sovereignty enables him to secure it. Always remember that the Lord reigns. Amen. Love is what the world requires for divine satisfaction. We love because He first loved us. We see this in 1 John chapter 4, verse 19. His love is like an everlasting light that can shine into the world through you and I. As we get to know Him better, and as we carry his presence and help him spread his love. Light always overcomes darkness. May a passionate love for him burn within our hearts that finds expression in its ability to attract others to him. There are very many things that we desire to spend our lifetime pursuing, but a lot of these do not bring divine satisfaction if we have left out the most important one, which is love. Against the darkness in the world at that first Christmas, the heavens could not but resound in joy and gladness at love that had come down. Today we have this love that has come down. What are we going to do to impact others' lives with this greatest gift of all, love? Against these great world challenges we find ourselves in today, God's love that came down is still winning us, you and I, with the truth as it shines brightly down the generations. Love came down that first Christmas to stay and to reign in our lives. Let us not allow this Christmas be a time when we lose sight of Christ's extravagant love for us amidst the chaos and the busyness of the season. Having seen what love looked like in the life of Jesus Christ, let's challenge ourselves. What would our lives begin to look like if we love like he did? What would our world become if we love like he did? It always has to start somewhere, and I reckon that those of us who profess Christ ought to be very conscious this Christmas of what message we are giving out. May the message of Christmas that we give this year not be too complicated, that it goes over people's heads and misses their hearts. May those we meet receive the most important gift we owe, which is the wonderful love of Jesus. Let us be inspired to imitate Christ this Christmas. We, we wish, wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas, Christmas and continuous God's love in the, in the year, year 2023. 2023. God, God bless, bless you all. all. Thank you.